Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. Okay, so back to this. Once again, we can delete products and they are deleted from the database. However, the change is not propagated upwards. As a result, whenever you delete a product, you can still see the product in the DOM. Alright, so let's take a look at the source code. So we have this delete product method right here, and what we do with this is to show a confirmation dialog using Sweet Alert, which is, of course, this one, if you remember. Now, at the moment, I click delete, then we send a delete request to the server to delete the product from the products table, but not from the DOM. So on success, what we do is to display this dialog that confirms the deletion of the product. So what I really want to do inside here is to delete the product from the DOM as well. So to do this, we can trigger an event using emit. Every view instance implements an events interface, which means that we can listen to an event using on and trigger an event using emit. Now, I know this sounds a bit complicated, so let's tackle this down. So the idea is that I want to trigger this delete product, this method, those we have to move this to the parent. So what I will do is to take this whole methods option and I will go back to the products component and I will paste it right here. Do not forget to also get sweet alert from the product and import it right at the top. Okay. And now our product component is very, very, very simple. However, on click we used to call the delete product method. Now this method doesn't exist in this component anymore. However, it exists in the parent component. So we have to use a meet in order to trigger that function in the parent. So at click, I want to emit this event and I will call it delete-product. I do this because I want to make things clear and you will see why in a moment. And we also need a single quote there. Okay. So this is how we trigger an event using emit. Now in the parent, we can listen to that event. So to do that, we can say v on. But I will use the more clear way, which is the at sign. So, at delete dash product. Remember, this is the event, this is how we specify it here. We specify it as delete dash product. And this is the event that we want to trigger. So, we listen for this event, for the delete dash product event. And what we want to do is to call the delete product method. Remember that we have now in the parent the delete, the delete product method. So we want to call that method and pass the current product. Because remember, we are inside this loop here, inside the v4. So we have access to this product and we can pass it to the delete product method. Okay, so again, let's see this from the beginning. So to make this a bit more clear. Now the product component, as I said, is very clear. We simply display the data regarding that component, like the name, the price, etc., etc. And let me get rid of this ID. Okay. Now, when we click on delete, we trigger an event using a meet, which is called delete product. Now, we are declaring the event right here, and then in the loop, we listen for that event. So, each product will listen to that delete product event. And in case that event is triggered, then what we do is to call the delete product method, which is, which is right down here. And we also pass the current product, so make sure you accept it right here, product. So to make sure that this works, what I will do is to comment these lines of code inside the delete product method. And I will try something very, very simple. So what I will do is to console.log the product. So if we go back to this, uh, let me refresh the page, I click delete, I will also open the console, I will click, let me first clear the console, I click delete, and you can see that we log the product that we clicked. So the name of the product is this one, Voluptabtibus, whatever, <laughs> and uh, let me try another one. So if I go and I click this one, which is 
provident, you can see that we get it right in the, in the log. You see? So our code works 100%, which means that when we click the delete button, we are triggering this event, the delete product event. We listen to that event here, and what we do is to call the delete product, and then we also have to pass the product as well. And what I do here is to simply log the product. I know that this might be probably the most complicated thing that we have done up to now in this course. But remember that as I said, every view instance implements an events interface, so we can listen and trigger an event. In this case, when we click the delete button, we trigger an event called delete product. And in this case right here, we are listening for that event and we simply call the method. So basically, this is the flow. So make sure you comment these lines and you can try on your own a couple of different examples just to make sure that you have this clear. However, the concept makes sense because we want to trigger an event, but somebody has to listen for that event. Okay, now let's continue. Once we delete the product from the database, what I will do is to get rid of the product from the DOM. To do that, we just need two lines of code. So I will uncomment this and inside here, what I want to do is to access the array of products and I have to use the splice function. This requires the index of the product and the number of the items we want to delete, which is one. Now, the splice function is a JavaScript function, nothing related to Vue.js, so if you want to know what this function is about, then simply search for it and you will find some examples here. Anyway, so back to this. Now we are missing one more line of code, which is the index. So let index equals to this dot products. And I want to find the index of the product that we are passing, which is this one inside the products array. So this dot products, which is our array index of, which is a JavaScript function. And I will pass the product. All right. One last thing, because we pass the product inside the function, uh, we do not really need to say this dot product here. We just have to say product dot ID. All right. With these changes in place, let's go back and see if this will work. So I will go to this table right here to this page. Sorry. And let's find a product to delete. We do, do we have any product? Okay. So we have this product, the volume tab. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so what I will do is to click delete and hopefully we will delete this product from the DOM. So yes, delete it. And we do not see that product anymore. And hopefully it is also deleted from the table. Right now we have 39 and we have 37 because we deleted one earlier if I am not incorrect. So yeah, this is the idea. Let me also delete this one, for example. Okay, now we should go to 36 and we do. So the deletion is working, we delete the product from the table and from the DOM by using emit, so by triggering an event and listening to an event. To say the truth, this is a very hard topic to explain. Uh, usually events are very hard to understand. So me myself, I had a lot of problems at the beginning to understand the concept, not the idea of how this works, but how to implement this. So yeah, this will do it for this video and I will see you in the next one.